Hi there, welcome to another video tutorial. In today's edition, we will be discussing how to build a Bluetooth app controlled and monitored poultry farm project design. This project design is a low cost one that won't cost more than 50 US dollars reproducing it. We will take you on a journey through building this Bluetooth app based poultry farm system using Arduino Uno, an HC 05 Bluetooth module, and a tungsten bulb for temperature control. We will also add a digital humidity and temperature sensor module so that the system can also run automatically. The app will display the temperature and the humidity of the model poultry farm on the screen. So whether you're an experienced Arduino user or a complete beginner, this video will walk you through the steps to create an automated system that controls your poultry farm's environment with ease. Let us look at how it is made. Before we proceed, please take a moment to encourage small creators like us. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribing is free, and it goes a long way to give us the boost we need. All right, let us begin with the first item on the to-do list. What are the components required to carry out this project? We have already listed this out in the blog post link found in the description below. You can head over there to get a copy of the full list. We are using an Arduino Uno board, a DHT11 sensor, some jumper wires for connection. Also, the Bluetooth module, a single channel relay module. You will also need a five volt power supply, but for breadboarding phase, you can use the five volts from your Arduino Uno board. To test this out and breadboard it, you will need a mini sized breadboard too. Also, to control the change in the temperature of the model poultry house, we needed the tungsten bulb that would emit out heat when powered on. We can warm the birds using this approach. Optional for this project, you can add an LCD screen or an OLED screen to show the temperature and humidity readings. Although that is what the app is for. Now let us look at the schematic diagram for this design. You can grab a free copy of this in the link in the description below. The Arduino Uno is connected as shown. The power jack is used to supply five volts to the system design and the single channel relay is used to isolate the direct current, DC, from the alternating current, AC voltage, that is used to power the tungsten bulb and to switch it on and off at will by the user. The Bluetooth module is connected via a software serial connection. You can use a DHT11 sensor for the, the temperature reading or an LM35 temperature sensor to get the temperature readings. If you have any more questions concerning this, you can leave us a comment in the comment section below. Now let us design the GUI for the app we need to control the project design. To get this app ready, we use the Remote XY web interface. They offer a drag and drop widget that allow us to do a cross-platform app. We use their labels as shown here. Also use some string inputs to hold the digital temperature and humidity reading. We equally added a button switch to change the state of the tungsten bulb too. To make the GUI app responsive, we designed it to be on both portrait and landscape format. In the end, we configured the app settings on how it should work. You can follow the link in the description on how to do this. Next is programming the Arduino Uno. Since we are finally using the DHT11 sensor to read the temperature and humidity sensor, we needed to download and install the DHT11 Arduino library. Also, since we are designing the GUI app using the Remote XY app, we have to also install the Remote XY Arduino library. Now we begin with the breadboarding and testing phase of the project design. We connected the schematic diagram on a breadboard, and we coded out the Arduino cord as shown in the link. Now we can proceed to uploading the code on the Arduino Uno board. When we do this, we can proceed to testing out the code. Once the code is running on the Arduino, 
We can connect the app by simply opening the app, which we can download from Play Store or Apple Store. Then turning on the Bluetooth and connecting to the breadboard setup. Once the app is connected to the Bluetooth module, we will see the app show up on the screen. And we can also read the temperature and humidity of the DHT11 sensor. At first, this display were not configured correctly. After some adjustments, we were able to fine tune it to the correct display we wanted. We have successfully demonstrated how to control the tungsten bulb that in turn controls the temperature of a model poultry farm of a place using an Android app. We have also shown by displaying the digital temperature and humidity of the poultry farm remotely on the app. All right, that is it for today. That is a wrap for us. We thank you for watching. We hope to see you on our next video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.